Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be making my best friend's birthday gift and she loves everything and anything that has to do with Coco Chanel. Her home decor is Chanel including her nails and her car decor. So I decided to make her a Chanel diamond dress body form lamp for her dressing and makeup room and I used these Chanel photographs of these gowns and dresses as my inspiration. So let's see what I came up with. To start off, I'll be using two soft black wire baskets that I purchased from Dollar Tree and they also come in white. I'll be using four zip ties to hold both pieces together.
because I wanted the dress to be in a mermaid shape, I'll be repeating the same steps and I'll be creating hips and around the knees area. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. I'll be using loose acrylic diamonds that come in a jar, and I already went ahead and glued them onto the bottom part of the skirt because I wanted a V shape in the front, and I'll also glue them in between the little spaces. This was very time consuming, and I used 150 diamonds. Here I'll be repeating the same gluing steps, and I just wanted to demonstrate to you how I glued on all the acrylic diamonds around the sweetheart neckline. Next I use metallic silver pearl wrap and I use 14 inches and I cut them in between the spaces to create separate strips and I only cut right up to the edge. Next I'll be using large assorted gems and I use one oval shape. I'll be taking my strips and I'll be gluing them behind and then I'll take the whole entire gem and glue it in the center right underneath the sweetheart neckline. Once it was dry I took three pieces and I just let them hang down. And I started one by one and gluing them onto the back waistline of the dress and I started forming them in a staggering position. Also glued on four strips of pearl wrap and just let them hang in the front. Next I'll be using this cardboard tube that I already had on hand from a previous project and it's one and a half inch wide and it's very strong. Then I'll be taking my measurements and I'll be cutting it down to 17 inches long. I cut the tube I'll be covering it with black shimmering glossy contact paper I'll be using this tube to hold the lampshade up For the lampshade, I'll be using a 12 inch embroidery hoop and I'll be using the inside part only. Next, I'll be using 5 inch round star foam and it comes to in a pack, but I'll just be using one and I'll place it in the center. I also took a large skewer and I cut it to size and I'll be using four pieces and I will be inserting them inside the star foam and then I'll be gluing them onto the embroidery hoop. I will also be adding hot glue in between the styrofoam and the large skewers for a better hold. For the shade, I took postal board and cut it into two and then I took both ends and I'll be holding them together using clear tape. Once I was done, I'll be covering one side with the same black contact paper. Once I was done, I'll wrap it around the embroidery hoop, then I'll hold it in place using clear tape and I'll start gluing both pieces together. Next, I cut a 3 inch circle from postal board and I cut the inside 2.5 inches. Next, I'll be using mirror reflection paper and I flipped it over and I'll be tracing the circles on the back and I trace 8 and then I'll be cutting them out. And now I have a set of four, and if you haven't guessed it by now, I'm creating the double C's for my Chanel logos. 
Next, I'll grab two and I'll hold them together and then I'll cut a line straight down one inch away from the edge and then I'll cut the inside out. And here I'll have my double C's for my Chanel logo. make sure they come out equally spaced and evenly I had to go off camera and apply them and apply them six inches apart so I'll be using this 12 inch black hard plastic plate and I flipped it over and I'll add hot glue in the center and then I'll attach my tube next I took more hot glue and I applied the inner inner edges and then I'll take my body form and I'll apply it onto the plate leaving the tube in the center and at the tip of the tube, I'll be attaching my lampshade. And for lighting, I use one LED remote touch light. And here's the finished look. And what can I say about all the beautiful shimmering and diamonds on this lamp? This is my first time creating a Chanel lamp and I fell in love with it. And spoiler alert, this video was recorded about a week ago and I had to wait to post it until my friend received her lamp and as soon as she received it she said she fell in love with it and it went straight into her makeup dressing room once the lights are off this lamp has a beautiful shimmering and lighting reflection and as soon as this pandemic is over I'll be taking a trip to California to snapshot photos of her beautiful Chanel home and her dressing room and make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where I'll be posting all my updates and I'll have that link in the description bar below. This lamp truly turned out beautiful and the camera is not doing it any justice. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoy creating it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.